So this is the very first game of uh, the 2023-24 season. So hopefully you saw the last season and how that ended, but also the what's in the bag for this year, because that what's in the bag will go over a lot of stuff that I'm wearing new for this year and in these games. So it kind of gives you an idea. We're going to cover some of the things in this one just while they're on my mind right now. I want to talk about them but we won't go into total depth of a lot of the gear we'll just kind of do like snippets here and there for this game and what we're going to talk about but here we're going to talk about uh, my pads here which are the true catalyst px3 custom set so this is the pad i use these games for my review of the blocker glove and pads i wanted to get actual game use out of them and not just use of like the training session and stuff which i've done for a few other sets where i didn't have like a full time with them they weren't my pads so i couldn't hold on to them and do what i wanted to do with them so i did as best i could for this i could get games out of it because i could wait a bit and these are my pads so i could obviously hold on to it so that's what this game is and it's the first real game i have of wearing this whole set so excited about that for this game itself this is the blades of steel team we finished second in the top division lost obviously in the game three against a really good team and here we are again starting off this year we'll see how that one ends up this is against a team called the blades generally speaking we beat them and they haven't been a huge issue for the blades of steel team but it's a new season everyone's kind of rusty we'll see how it ends up going these are the core tech like base layers and the idea of them is to help with like growing poles and your hips and everything and they have a tight end piece you can see how this material doesn't really stretch a lot and it's really tight and it really holds your hip and like legs in place. This stuff, I've used it for years under different branding that used to be under Under Armour and has saved me multiple times in games, especially towards the end of this and playoffs where I pulled my growing and I wouldn't have been able to play without these things. So Cortex sent me a pair of these to, I'll do a full review on them and everything, but if you're interested in Cortex stuff and they really help with the growing and like stopping injuries from getting worse and preventing them, they have a less tight version as well. This is a 1.0, the other ones are a 3.0. There's a link to Cortec in the description. If you use my coupon code, you get a discount as well as it supports the channel. So you get protective base layer stuff that I wear all the time and honestly really need to keep my growing intact. And it also supports the channel as well. So check those out. Otherwise, if you want to support the channel without buying anything, check out links in the description to Patreon, buy me a coffee. Everything through there comes again back into the channel so I can make more content and doing real reviews.
So overall, an excellent start to the season for my team. They played pretty solid overall, got a bunch of goals and didn't really have to do a whole ton of work for themselves. I thought I played pretty okay as well. I look massive in this chest protector, which we'll talk about in a second. The only goal that went in is a play where there's two guys kind of a little bit back door. I actually thought this was going to the guy closest to the net. Uh, so I go down and play kind of a quick shot, one timer thing there. It didn't go to him. It went to the guy who's kind of trailing across. So he brings it across the ice. I kind of try to follow him. He makes a great pass to that nail, completely back door and wide open guy. And he puts it over my pad because I was already down and totally out of position for this. I just have to keep my feet here. But normally if that's going back door to the person I thought it was going to, I'm 100% going down right away for that to try to cover that low for the quick shot. So it's a bit of a misread and played slightly wrong, but I thought it was going to that person. So what can you really do there? And if that guy gets it right away and shoots while I'm still kind of moving in a standing up, I'm not stopping that. So I will generally play that the same way as I did previously. Besides that, I thought I did pretty good in a whole new set of gear. Like I've worn this gear before, but this is really the first game and like everything together in an actual game situation. I thought I felt pretty good and played pretty good. I also had about a month off of actually goaltending between this game and what I did before. So me being able to go in there and not being unbelievably bad was a pretty happy thing for me. I think this might have been the second game of the night. I can't remember which game was filmed first, but I felt okay here. So that is always a good feeling. So now for the gear thing, obviously I talked about these pads previously in the review and everything, and I discussed how much I love them. But a few things here of what I've realized, I don't know if by this point, but eventually is my strapping on here. I basically don't do the top strap up at all. So I talked about the FRS system, how it pulls the pad up. I am doing that strap so loose that it might as well not be there. And I really only keep it there just, I don't even know why really. To be honest, I could just take it out like I did on my white set, but I just leave it in there and it's barely strapped up whatsoever. The bottom strap as well is also very loose as well. So the whole pad is sitting pretty loose. And then I'm going down to the down here and not the knee, just because this pad does have to slide up uh, a little bit just because of the thigh rise. And just to make it fit like totally right, I feel going back here just allows this to not be worn out a bit. It's a bit folded and kind of bacon from getting squished between my knee pads. So going back here kind of opens that up a little bit. And then this nylon strap, which is like the tight strap, just goes right here as well. And it's not tight, but it doesn't stretch. That's what I meant by tight. And that kind of keeps my uh, knee in place. And I don't really fall off the block on these ones. And if I do, I generally kept something too loose. So I adjust a little bit to be a little tighter and it's totally fine. Other thing about this pad that I want to call out because it actually happened on the play where the goal went in. This is where I love stiff thigh rises and straight thigh rises, and I do this all the time. And the game before I'm filming this, so I filmed filming this on December 5th. Uh, on the game I played on the 4th, I stopped about three passes that were going in front of the net with my straight thigh rise. It wasn't on these pads, it was on my Hyperlite 2s, which are straighter than this. What I do is when I go in that RVH and I cover that post, this pad coming out hits that thigh rise and it kind of breaks up passes that are going in front. Now, sometimes it can go to someone in front who I'm not expecting to be there, which can be a problem, but oftentimes it stops a pass from going like cross crease and stuff and protects me from guys who are kind of at the lower circle and everything like that. So it's a nice thing there and using that with your stick as well helps to kind of give you a lot wider of a like range of where you can block and a pad is going to stop more than a stick is. So it's a lot harder to sauce over a pad when you're in close like that and making a hard pass. So it's a nice little cheat thing there and I absolutely love it and it happens over and over again. I absolutely love those pads and you're gonna see me a lot in here. Like I just really enjoy using them and I play pretty well in them. So I'm pretty happy with it. The next thing here is this massive chest protector. So this is the Ritual X4 Pro Plus. I look absolutely huge in this thing when I play and I honestly feel like it's honestly looks kind of bad. Not bad in like, I look horrible, but I feel bad wearing it because I look so big and my shoulders are just so, so massive. This is not an NHL legal chest, I don't think. I don't think they tried to get it legalized, but for me wearing this, I can't see how this could be a legal one. But then again, the Optic 3 is absolutely massive too, so maybe it is. I forgot to ask the people at Warrior what is not legal with this. I know the adjustments on the back obviously have to be sewn down, but for the floaters and stuff, I'm not sure. But if you look at this thing and you look at my size, like this game compared to last season, it's ridiculous. I've had every single team I've played for when I put this on with a jersey on are like, did you get a new chest? That thing looks huge. And I've even had other teams be like, dude, your shoulders are nuts. And you can see it. They're so square with this thing that me being six foot three already, when I drop, this thing honestly helps. And I've stopped a few shots already this year that I've noticed 
because of just how square these are as well as this cap right here and this cap they're just big and it it works like it's getting in the way and it feels like it's cheating a bit but i'm not in a professional league so it doesn't matter and other guys have chests like this like the premieres and stuff like that so it's not like i'm making it hugely unfair on the league because other guys can do the same thing so just something I want to point out because you can definitely see it here. There's going to be a few games coming up where I'm wearing the old CCM one that I talked about a lot, the NHL Pro Return. And looking at that one next to this one, my sh it's crazy. I look like a totally different goalie wearing this one too, just because it makes it look like I'm kind of wider and standing up more right, which is odd. But it's just me playing normally. It's just this thing is so wide and massive that it's pretty impressive. I did take a shot here in the RVH on the side piece right here which wasn't the greatest. And that's a kind of reoccurring thing with this where stuff up here isn't the nicest feeling. I feel like it could be a bit thicker behind here or something. But when I am in the RVH, I'm feeling more shots here than I did with that CCM. So that's one of the disappointing parts of this, but everything on here has been pretty massive as you can see. You're watching hockeyreviews.ca.